According to Chinese myth, E the dragon defeated the evil spirit of the waters. Because he saved the world from a terrible flood, E was made emperor of China. In Chinese art, the emperor is often shown as a dragon. For this lesson, you will get to create your own Chinese dragon. Draw a picture about the story. This is called an illustration. You will need paper, paint, brushes, crayons, or paper, crayons, markers, or colored pencils. You will paint or draw the dragon. Please watch the video after this. Add details such as eyes, nostril, tongue, mustache, horns, claws, scales. You will draw the clouds and lightning. You may also draw rain. Draw water, and then snap a photo and upload by October 16th to Mrs. Hughes. In this lesson, you are thinking about a Chinese dragon. Chinese dragons are different than European dragons. They are longer, thinner, and their bodies kind of wind around. To draw the dragon, you're probably going to start with the mouth. I like to use an angle. Draw the top and bottom of the mouth. And then add some kind of shape for the head. Details can come later. Then I work on the body. I kind of think of an S. And then kind of curve the body around up into the tail. When I'm painting, I'll just keep brushing the paint along the edge of the line to make it thicker. When drawing, I'll make another line. Then I can go back and add the details, like legs. I kind of goofed on that one, but that's okay. I can add like ears, horns, teeth, nostrils, a mustache, a tongue. Some kind of scale lines. I would do these in different colors and make the dragon colorful. Since you're illustrating a dragon that's part of a story, you want to add the waves to the water, maybe some lightning, some raindrops. Have fun drawing your Chinese dragon and I look forward to seeing your picture.